What's up, guys? I uh, I had a friend or a, a guy that I just met, Lugly, who asked me to do time management for flippers. And the truth is, this is uh, this one's a tough for me, a tough one for me, because I don't have. Uh, I would say I don't have the best time management. Um, and then when you're in flipping, it can um, accentuate that because you're always running around, and deals pop up. You got to go get them quick. And so it's like it, it breeds a state of uh, of insanity where you're you just you, your mind's all over the place. Um, but one of the best tips that I would have is that when you wake up, you have to start the day very slow. You have to have some uh, quiet time where you either pray or you um, or you just clear your head and relax for a second. Um, if you don't do that, then the whole day your your thoughts will be just dragging you all over the place and. Uh, You'll forget phones or things that you need to drop off certain places. Like you'll just you'll you'll end up just being like, oh, I'm 30 minutes away from my house, and I needed to grab X Y Z and bring it here. And um, it's just uh, yeah, it'll just get out of hand in a hurry. And so um, you got to start the day chill, but then on the other hand, you have to start your day right after that by getting a deal as quickly as you can. And so if you can knock out your first flip, you know, before work or before, let's say, nine, when other people would be at work, there's a certain level of uh, bonus in your head that happens. And, um, like, for example, I just got my first deal at 9 a.m., and it was uh, posted about it. It was $375 profit. And uh, that feels good. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of good for the day. Let's say that I just didn't feel like doing anything today or I just had other stuff to get done um, now that wouldn't feel like such a bad idea to uh, to handle those things um, I do have a few more errands I have to run but uh, after that I'm clear the other tip that I have is this is especially true for family or if you do want to have like some semblance of a life you have to put rocks in your schedule that are uh, that are just pretty set in stone and so I lock out um, for me 4.30 to 7.30 uh, because my kids want to play my wife cooks dinner every night and without that I'm just running all the time and then she's trying to cook us amazing dinners she crushes the game on dinners anyway she uh, she's trying to do that with two kids that are just you know my one of them's two and he's just uh <laughs> He's a savage of an individual, let's say. And then my other one just really wants like love and attention. And we want to give it to him because he's on earth and he didn't ask to be. And so we feel like, you know, it's up to us to treat him better than, than uh, anyone else on the planet. So you have to have t certain times blocked off where you're not going to work. And then you, um, and then you try to get deals outside of that as often as possible. I mean, you know, some of that's just general advice, but uh, one of the things that I did, one of the things I do is I wake up, I check for deals, check my ads, uh, respond to people, like drum up some stuff, and then I go, then from there, hopefully I'm able to catapult into something. And then right before I go to bed, though, I go to bed early, like 8, 8.30, 9, something like that. Right before I go to bed, I'll look for deals, and I'll say, Psh, there's a deal, you know, it's 150 bucks, 10 minutes away from me. I'm going to get that deal because guess what? The next day could suck and then that 150 more or less pays for the next day. So uh, that's what I have on that topic. Honestly, I could maybe use some, some tips there. So if y'all have anything that works for you, happy to hear it.